Hi, it's Craig from Golf Simulator Life and today we're going to do a golf ball test. So I've been a scratch and category one golfer for pretty much all of the last 30 years and I've always used Titleist golf balls and for as long as I can remember I've used the Titleist Pro V1. The biggest selling golf ball in the world and the reason we all use this ball is because it gets good distance off the tee but it's also amazingly good for chipping and putting around the greens. It's got a soft feel and you get good uh, control with your irons, with spin and all that kind of thing. So, I went to my local golf shop the other day to go and get some Pro V1s. And while I was in there, I came across something that I didn't even know existed. I'll be absolutely honest. So, and to buy two dozen, they were £12 cheaper than the Pro V1. And it is the Honma TWX. Now, I didn't even know that Honma had entered into the golf ball market. Uh, now, having done a bit of research, there's not many PGA professionals using this ball. But over on the Asian tours, there's a lot of people using this ball. So it comes in a very nice premium box. And it says that uh, you get distance and spin uh, for swing speeds of around 90 to 95 miles an hour. So this is the Honma TWX. We're going to do a test against the Pro V1. We're going to see if it's any good, see how it matches up. We're going to hit some gap wedges. We're going to hit some uh, seven irons. And we're going to hit some drivers, all keeping the same swing speed. And we'll see what the number's like and see whether the Honma TWX is as good as the most popular ball in golf, the Titleist Pro V1. Okay, let's get going. So before we look at the results, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the look and feel of these two golf balls. So for me, obviously the Titleist has got that classic logo, very simple, the Pro V1, which you know is very effective to use for lining up your putts and stuff. Uh, the Homma has got the line on the side for lining up your putts exactly the same. And I don't know, just, just for me, the Homma logo just doesn't do it for me really. I mean, I know it makes no difference. Uh, it's just a completely personal preference. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a mole, which is the logo. Uh, so, yeah, on the look, I much prefer the Titleist, but that would not stop me from using the golf ball. On feel, so the Pro V1 I've used for years. I know exactly how that feels. And I've got to be honest, if you had a blindfold on, you would struggle to tell the difference between the feel of those two golf balls when you're just tapping them on your golf club uh, and certainly when I was hitting the shots as well I wouldn't have been able to tell if this was a blind test there's no way I would have been able to tell which one was the tight list and which one was the Homma so uh, so yeah from that point both balls felt extremely good I, you know, like uh, exactly what I'd expect a premium ball to feel like uh, so right so let's have a look at the results okay so the results are in. So we're going to start. We, by the way, we hit 10 shots with each club. And these are the averages over those 10 shots for each club with each ball. So let's start with the gap wedge. Uh, Pro V1 first. So the, the key thing here is I've tried to keep the miles per hour the same to try and make it an equal test. So in this case, uh, 79 miles an hour for both. Uh, so total yards... 119 for the Pro V1, 122 for the Honma. So the Honma went a little bit further with the gap wedge. Uh, on the back spin, which is always important when you're using uh, utility wedges, very similar, 9,210 and 9,082. So slightly more spin with the Titleist Pro V1, but not a amount that's going to make uh, any difference to your shots on the golf course. Uh, launch angle was... Almost exactly the same, identical. 
Uh, okay, carry again, just three yards difference. The hum has gone a little bit further. And on the flight, the seconds in the air, the hum has stayed in the air a little bit longer than the Pro V1 did. Uh, and its angle came down a little bit steeper. So you're getting a higher ball flight coming down a bit steeper. So that's going to help with a, a little bit more control. But I mean, we're talking one degree here. So nothing that you're going to ever notice. Uh, and also the Homma flew a bit higher than the Pro V1 did. So on the gap wedge, you could literally, you know, throw a blanket over those really. The hum has gone a little bit further, a little bit higher, uh, with a little bit less spin. So uh, I think we can safely say that the Hummer has performed every bit as good as a Pro V1. So now onto the seven irons. Seven irons, we achieved a club miles per hour, a club head speed of 81. Uh, and the, in this case, the Pro V1 went a little bit further. It went 174 with 169. And on the carry, it flew 162 and 158. So whereas the Hummer went a little bit further with the gap wedge, it's gone a little bit less with the 7 iron. So four yards less carry. Uh, and the spin on the Pro V1 was less, which probably accounts for why you've got the extra carry and the extra bit of yardage because the spin, lower spin, has got it to get a much better uh, trajectory. So, uh, flight time, yeah, the Pro V1's staying in the air just slightly longer. So on the seven iron, you're going five yards further and four yards carry further. Uh, and it's achieving slightly more miles per hour on the seven iron as well. So on the seven iron, Tight this Pro V1, a little less spin, and it goes a little bit further. But again, you know, the hum is very close. You know, that's four yards carry difference is very minimal indeed. And now onto the driver, which is the one that everyone's always interested in with golf balls. So really interestingly, the Pro V1 actually had one mile an hour more club head speed, yet it carried one yard less and went three yards less and that is because the Hummer is spinning really low at just over 2000 rpm whereas the pro v1 was at nearly 2400 so for a driver a lower spinning golf ball is extremely good because that allows you to get a much better trajectory and more carry and run out of your driver so interestingly the Hummer is a lower spin golf ball with the driver, yet not that much lower spin than with the uh, with the gap wedge. And with the driver, so we've got uh, one yard of extra carry, but because of that lower spin with the Hummer, you're then getting a much better trajectory. You're getting more roll, which is equated to three yards more distance. So, I mean, if we're being absolutely truthful on this, you know, three yards of difference is not going to make any difference to anyone's game. But I think the whole purpose of this test was to see, is the Honma TWX golf ball any good? And based on these numbers, you would have to say that it is. And I would quite happily use this golf ball out on the golf course and save myself, uh, you know, up to six pounds on a dozen uh, against the Pro V1. And, you know, I don't think my game is going to suffer in any way, shape or form for using the Hummer TWX rather than the Pro V1. Am I going to change? Uh, well, I'm gonna, I, well, I bought them now, so I'm going to I'm going to take them out on the golf course and I'm going to try them and see. You know, you, you need to just get them around the greens, just nip a few chip shots and just get to see that they react nicely on the greens and stuff. But based on these numbers, I would say that Hummer have produced an extremely good golf ball that you wouldn't go far wrong by going out and using yourselves. So that's it for today. Uh, we've got lots more ball tests coming. We're going we're gonna to test some distance balls against the Pro V1 where we should see some really big differences. Uh, if you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, we're a new channel. We're trying to bring you some really interesting 
content using the SkyTrack launch monitor. Uh, so till next time, stay safe, enjoy your golf, and I'll see you out on the virtual golf course soon.